It's Friday, November 30th, 2007. I'm James Kotecki, and this is Playbook TV. Rudy Giuliani is defending himself after Ben Smith's earth-shattering story in Politico that he builds travel expenses for his personal security detail through obscure city agencies. The bills included 11 trips to Southampton, where his mistress, Judith Nathan, now his third wife, had an apartment. Giuliani has called the billing a perfectly appropriate way of working around bureaucratic inefficiency. However, as the New York Daily News reports, the campaign's initial defense that former mayors had also allocated security expenses to small city agencies was flatly denied by budget officials of former mayors Ed Koch and David Dinkins. To make matters worse for Giuliani, ABC News reports that long before his relationship with Judith Nathan was public, he provided her with a police driver and a city car. None of this will look good to the conservative voting base, but if Pat Robertson was able to get over Giuliani's views on abortion and gay rights, truly anything is possible. Next, to further prove that anything is possible, leading anti-war congressman John Murtha now says the surge is working. Politico reporter and loyal fan of Playbook TV John Bresnahan has the story. The comment is bad news for congressional Democrats who are blocking approval of $200 billion for the war in Iraq. At the same time, this is great news for Senator John McCain, who has been recently touting the progress of the surge as a vindication of his foreign policy judgment. Given all this news, you may think that the political world is being turned upside down, but in such a crazy world, it's good to know that some things still make sense, like Barbara Streisand's recent endorsement of Hillary Clinton. What's interesting, though, is that as reported by the New York Times, the Clinton campaign pulls the endorsement to make sure that voters see her as a funny girl and not guilty of being too liberal. Now, I have to admit that I'm not good with Streisand references because for whatever reason, I've never really been into her music. I was actually planning on making a win beneath my wings reference, but it turns out that's Bette Midler. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash playbook for more stories, including the evolution of John Edwards. And don't worry, even if you don't bring me flowers, I promise never to sing you a whiny song about it right here on Playbook TV.